Hey guys, and how you doing again? And in this video, I want to be talking about um, using reference imagery to look at the accuracy assessment or the error assessment of your image. Um, so, for example, I have two things here. So, what I have first is I have a picture of Fraser Island, which is a Sentinel 2 image. And then I also have, um, I downloaded it from Q Imagery, which is Queensland Government Imagery. Uh, I did search and then I found, uh, you can find like a bunch of uh, different. A bunch of different areas and that type of thing. So if I hit view, it'll turn it on. And so you can download these, and they'll be in uh, QuickBird, which is a different type of satellite. So it's a different type of um, uh, uh, pixel size. So if you're trying to do um, accuracy assessment, you're probably going to find that it'll generate an error for you when you try to do um, make a confusion matrix. So what you have to do first is you have to like uh, reproject it and then resize the data. So if I look at um, if I look at my large one Sentinel two, I can go to view metadata and then I want to go down to coordinate system, and I can see this is UTM zone fifty six S. Okay, and then if I look at the smaller one, I can go to view metadata, and this is uh, whatever that one is. So I want the small one to be changed to the large one so that they're both the same. Uh, so again, this one is. Uh, UTM zone 56S. So I just want to go down to raster management and then reproject raster. So I just want to go down to browse. Um, I want to reproject the small one. Oh, sorry. I just need to check uh, one other thing. The um, if you look at the uh, pixel size, you know that the smaller one is in a pixel size of the, sorry the larger one is a pixel size of 20 and 20, and the smaller one is a uh, pixel size of uh, 2.3, right? So I want to change that. So if I click on the smaller one, yep. Uh, okay, so this is the projection. I want to change uh, the coordinate system, uh, UTM 1984, Southern Hemisphere, 56S. Uh, there it is. Great. So I think that that's all fine. Uh, nearest neighbor. Yes, that's all fine for now. So I'm just going to output this. I'll just put it in a location. I'll call this um, reprojected. Okay, let's just save that. So at the bottom right, you'll see a raster reproject. It's happening. It's loading. So we just have to wait for that. Okay. So I wonder if this is the same one or if it's different. Um, oh no, it just got brought in. Okay. So here it is. It's this one up here. Excellent. So this one has is now. If I go to view metadata, there you go. It's now the same projection. And then I can just resize. So what I have to do here, right? Is all, in order to make a confusion matrix, these both have to be the same cell size. So you can see this is one square, and these tiny ones that are here are the really, really small squares. So one is low resolution, and one is high resolution. High resolution means pixels are smaller, it's more accurate. So what I want to do is I want to resize these small pixels and bring them up to the bigger one. You can't go down, you can only go up. So I want to go to resize data. I'm going to select the reprojected. Um, so set output dimensions. So currently it's in 2.3, and as we checked before, um, the larger one is 20 meters by 20 meters pixel sizes. Uh, great, nearest neighbor, that's fine. Uh, we'll call this one uh, resize. Size, blah, 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 blah. That hasn't changed, has it? Uh, same thing. <coughs> Great. Let's do that. <laughs> okay, so, so now we have resize. So now what we have to do is we have to um, get our image, which I've already classified as you can see. So I downloaded the image. It was a TIFF file. A TIFF is a georeferenced image. So it's an image with a geographic location to it. So then what I want to do is I want to classify it, which I've already done. Uh, you can just use maximum likelihood or one of these supervised classification methods. And then what you want to do is you want to create multiple regions of interest um, to compare them for the reference. So if I select on resize, 
um, there we go, uh, all the classification um, groups are selected. So then I just want to select, um, you can change the stratified or random if you want to change it. Uh, I want to make my ROIs, so I'm just going to call this ROIs. These are ROIs of regions of interest. Array dimensions must be greater than zero. Why is that not working? Oh, I think, oh, I, I know this, I know this, I did this before. So if you look at, um, if you go into and click on view class sample sizes, you'll see that unclassified has a value of zero. Um, you cannot do this if any of these have a value of zero, they all must have a value greater than zero. So if I just want to go cancel or go back into it, click on resize again, and I will just untick unclassified because that has zero as a value. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Uh, choose again, again just call it ROIS, so this will work now, uh, there we go, excellent. And you can see um, there's no load bar at the bottom, that's just because when it finishes it'll uh, it'll automatically be put in, but it won't actually like come in, so you just have to do that. ROIS, and then you just want to select resize, I want to connect it to the resize, which is what I based it off of, so just click resize, resize, which is the, the layer name. Okay, so you can see all these regions of interest have been made. There are one, two, three, four, five, six of them. That's good. Now what I can do is I can do my um, confusion matrix. So I just want to go to confusion matrix using ground truth RIs. And this is under classification, post-classification. Um, so you want to select your large one, which for me is this, which is my Sentinel-2. Uh, I want to select that. And then you just want to match them up. So you can see the name here, resize, resize, how they... Um, they're the same thing. So I want to do sand and sand. So the one on the right is my Sentinel-2, my large one, and the one on the left is the one that I'm picking here. Okay, so I want to go to ocean and ocean. So you just want to do this for all of them. And it doesn't matter if you miss one. You can see how I'm doing one, one has six classes, the other has seven. Um, that doesn't matter. It'll still work. So you can see I still have unclassified left over, that's fine. It'll still work either way. So if I hit OK and then blah 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 blah, and just like that, uh, we have our confusion matrix. And I can see that if I this value here, the overall accuracy, um, this is referring to um, <clears throat> uh, this is referring to how accurate the small one is compared to the large one. So the small one, which I got from uh, Q imagery, is a reference image which will tell me that. Um, these are both maximum likelihood classifications, um, but this one is, you know, uh, more accurate uh, because it's smaller pixel sizes and it's from a better satellite, I suppose. Um, so what this value is, I bring it back up, it tells you how accurate your large area is, essentially. It's comparing the reference image to the main image that you're working on. So that is accuracy or error assessment. And then you can just go to file and you can save it to a ASCI if you want to do that as well. But yeah, that is how you do that. So I hope you guys have learned something and have a great day.